Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Lazy Galaxy 2. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 8 bucks. I stress Early Access, that means everything that you're about to see here is subject to change. Now, it's also worth mentioning that the developer said that there's going to be, uh, I don't want to say a major patch, but there's going to be some new content coming over the next couple of days. So what you're seeing here, like I said, may be outdated, uh, but for the most part, what you're going to see is what you're going to get. Um, Lazy Galaxy 2 is obviously the sequel to Lazy Galaxy, and it's got the same premise. It's an idle game where you're going to be constructing buildings, and you're going to be clicking on asteroids. You don't have to, but it's a good way to get some resources. And you're going to be spending these resources upgrading these buildings and unlocking more stuff. So I'm going to take you through this live today. It's just easier for me to do it. Uh, on the very top of the screen, there's various resources that you'll be collecting. You start with metal, and then you'll unlock experience, and then fuel. And then I'm sure there's more past that, but because this is an idle game, it's going to take me a while to get to everything. So I'm just going to show you like the beginning parts. So um, you'll have access to various structures like solar panels. On the left-hand side of the screen, there's energy, and you'll have to make sure that your energy is, uh, you know, that you're producing more than you're consuming. Otherwise, your buildings won't uh, operate efficiently. Um, you'll be able to build things like fuel pumps. There's metal mines and academies and research labs. And like I said, you can actually upgrade them. And as you continue playing the game, you unlock more land and get more build slots. On the right-hand side of the screen is your build menu. Everything I just mentioned is right here on the right-hand side. Um, there is an upgrade section here. You can spend your metal and experience and other things. Uh, for example, space observatories. Increased strange asteroid chance after not finding any strange asteroids for a while. Um, this radar device, a scanner, will find strange asteroids that will just appear. You click on them and you get some really cool stuff. Um, this thing, armored health packs, plus 30% plover. It's a ship that you get, and I'll get to ships in a minute. This one is plus 15% wasp damage. This one is plus 3% 3 production per unique building owned. Uh, I need 50k fuel for that, so I can't afford it. So I think we'll do the wasp damage, and we'll go ahead and do the... Eh, let's just do the armored health packs. It keeps my ships alive, and it looks like I can afford this one too. Okay, so there we go. And as you can see, there's just, uh, these are all the ones that I've unlocked so far. There's a lot. And this is only 9% of them. Um, there is a achievement section. Uh, as you earn achievements in this game, you'll unlock more of these upgrades that you can purchase. So achievements are actually, you know, key to getting new stuff. Lastly, there is a galaxy map. Uh, you start on this planet here, and then you move off. And what you're going to do is, like the first game, you have a hangar, and you're going to buy these ships, and you can even upgrade them. There's a little up arrow here. You need typically experience in order to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on the wasp two times and the plover once. And now I've got a hangar of three ships. I'm going to hit deploy. My goal is to complete 20 battles. Enemy level is six. And you can see the reward that you get if you complete all 20 levels. So I'll hit deploy. And this is where, like, there's a little bit of micromanagement here. You can hit the one and two keys to activate their abilities. The one ship I have heals. The other one, you know, fires this shotgun. They do fire automatically. So if, if you don't want to sit here and micromanage that, you don't have to. But obviously by micromanaging these abilities, you'll be able to progress a lot more quickly. Otherwise, it's just going to take longer. Um, but as you can see, the ships fly around on their own. I'm not doing anything except hitting one and two. I'm also aiming with the mouse cursor. On occasion, there are health pickups that you can click on, and they will automatically just uh, heal all of your ships for a little bit. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. And like I said, this is an idle game, so, you know, a lot of your time is going to be spent in windowed mode. In fact, I just watched Mission Impossible Fallout while playing this. Uh, anyway, so now I'm back to this screen, and your progress does save. So if I go back to the galaxy map, it's going to take some time for the ships to be ready again. But if I were to go back to Forfend here, um, my 
current campaign progress is 19 out of 20. So I just need to do two more levels now and I'll earn a new ship, the Porcupine, um, and I'll be able to deploy one extra ship. Also, I, a base expansion, Metal 1 times 4. Uh, so we'll just wait for that preparing launch pad to be done. On the left-hand side, there's actually like a little countdown. Um, the more shaded this is, the closer it is to being done. And that's about it, folks. I mean, like I said, this is an idle game, and I'm sure there's more that I have yet to unlock. But, you know, this is what you're getting. If you're looking for something that'll keep you engaged, um, you know, you could play this game that way. But ideally, you're just watching these numbers and waiting for the next upgrade, you know. It gets pretty crazy, like these solar panels, for example, 12.25 um, energy. The upgrade is 24.41k metal. It's very expensive. Um, so you're going to be sitting here waiting for these upgrades to be available, and you're just going to be watching numbers while you do it. On occasion, you can click on these if you want to, these asteroids. But like I said, it, it's as an idle game, you're going to be sitting here just watching things happen, or this is going to be on in the background while you do something else. Um, that being said, it's not bad. Uh, if you liked the first game and you kind of want to rehash, then, you know, you can simply just pick up this one. It's, it's up to you. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I have to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.